Seriata vestri omni quenens Deus et demissus peccatus vestri spiducat vos et vitam etam. Indulgentium absolutionum et remissionum peccatorum nostrum. Tribua nobis omnipotens et misericordia Domus. Deus te conversus et te peccavis nos. Ostendi nobis domini misericordiam tua. Domine exaudio rationem mea. Dominus fobiscum. Quasi modo geniti infantes, alleluia, rationabiles, sine dolo la concupiscite, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Exultati Deo adiutori nostro, jubilate Deo Jacob, gloria patria, filio et spiritui sancto, sicurat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, amen. Quasi modo geniti infantes, alleluia, rationabiles, sine dolo la concupiscite, alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Gloria in excelsis Deo, et in terra pax omnibus bonae voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratias agimus tibi propter maniam gloriam tuam, Domine Deus Rex Celestis, Deus Pater Omnipotens, Domine Fidio Unigenite, Iesu Christe, Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Fidius Patris, qui tolis peccatum indi miserere nobis, qui tolis peccatum indi sucia vita precazionem nostrum, qui sedis ad extrum patris miserere nobis, quaniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Dominus Fobiscum, et in Spiritu Tuo. Oremus, presta quesimus omnipotens Deus, ut qui pascalia festa peregimus, eic te largiente, mortibus et vita teniamus, per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum Fidium Tuum, qui te cum vivit et regnat in unitati Spiritu Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Lexio Epistole, Beati Ioannis Apostoli, Caedissimi, Omne quod narm est ex Deo vincit mundum, edic est victoria quae vincit mundum fides nostra. 
Quis est qui vincit mundum nisi qui credit quoniam Jesus est fidius Dei. Hic est qui venit per aquam et sanguinem Jesus Christus, non in aqua solum sed in aqua et sanguine. Et spiritus est qui testificator quoniam Christus est veritas, quoniam tres sunt qui testimonium dant in celo. Pater verbum et spiritus sanctus, et hic tres unum sunt. Et tres sunt qui testimonium dant in terra, spiritus et aqua et sanguis, et hic tres unum sunt. Si testimonium hominum acipimus, testimonium de maius est. Quanim ocas testimonium de, quod maius est, quanim testificatus est de fidio suo, qui credit in fidium de, abet testimonium de in se. Alleluia, alleluia, in dia resurrectionis me, dice Dominus, preteram vos in Galileam, alleluia. Post dias octo, Januas clausis, stated Jesus in medio discipulorum suorum, edixit eis, pax vobis, alleluia. Sequencia Sancte Evangelii Secundum Iohannem. In illo tempore, cum sero es et die illo una sabitorum, et portes es in clausi ubi erant discipuli congregati propter metum iudiorum, venit Iesus et stated in medio et dixit eis, pax vobis, et cum hoc dixis et, ostendit eis manus et latus, gavisis in tergo discipuli viso domino, Dixit ergo eis ithram pax vobis, si cum visi me pater ed ego mito vos, ec cum dixisat insuflare, et dixit eis acipide spiritum sanctum, quorum remiseritis peccata remituntur eis, et quorum retinueritis retenta sunt. Thomas autum unus ex divorcem, qui dicit redidimus, non erant cum eis quando venit Iesus. Dixerunt ergo e ali discipuli, vidimus dominum, Iliatum dixit eis, nisi videro in manibus eus fixorum clavorum, et mitam dicitum meam in locum clavorum, et mitam manum meam in latus eus non credam. Et post dies octo, ithram erant discipuli eus intus, et Thomas cum eis, venit Iesus Iannuis clausis et stedit in medio et dixit pax vobis, de inde dicitome inferro dicitum tum hoc et vide manus meas. Et aper Manum tuum et mite in latus meum, et non liesi in credulus sed fideus. Respondit Thomas et dixit ei dominus meus et deus meus. Dixit ei Iesus, quia vidisti me Thoma, credidisti, fiati qui non videm et credidem. Multa quidem et alia signa fecit Iesus, in conspectu discipulorum suorum, que non sunt scripta in libro alt. Eic autum scripta sunt, ut credatis, quia Iesus as Christus fidius Dei, et ut credentes vitam aviatis in nomine eius. Please be seated. <clears throat> the annual blessing of homes will begin this Saturday with those who live within several miles of the church. You will be contacted by the secretary later in the week with the time that the priest will be at your home. The homes of those who live farther from the church will be blessed on subsequent Saturdays during the Easter season. Our annual 40 Hours Adoration will be held on the weekend of April 19th to 21st, which is only two weeks away. A sign-up sheet is provided for this purpose in the vestibule. Every parishioner should make an effort to make at least one hour of adoration. The Paschal Blessing of Homes 
I already announced that. Classes at Mary Immaculate Queen Parish School and St. Joseph Seminary will resume tomorrow at the normal times. There will be a school support breakfast after the nine o'clock mass this morning. The epistle for Low Sunday, the first Sunday after Easter, is taken from the first epistle of St. John. Beloved, all that is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is there that overcomes the world, if not he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came in water and in blood, Jesus Christ, not in the water only, but in the water and in the blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness that Christ is the truth. <clears throat> For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. <clears throat> And there are three that bear witness on earth, the spirit and the water and the blood, and these three are one. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, which is greater, that he who bore witness concerning his son, he who believes in the son of God has the testimony of God in himself. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John at that time, when it was late that same day, the first of the week, though the doors where the disciples gathered had been closed for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be to you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore rejoiced at the sight of the Lord. He therefore said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. When he had said this, he breathed upon them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them. And whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being closed, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Bring here thy finger, and see my hands, and bring here thy hand, and put it into my side, and be not unbelieving, but believing." Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because thou hast seen me, Thomas, thou hast believed. Blessed are they who have not seen and yet have believed. Many other signs also Jesus worked in the sight of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that, believing, you may have life in his name. Thus far the words of the epistle and holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Immaculate Queen, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Please be seated. My dearly beloved in Christ, it is a little bit surprising to us, Holy Mother Church uses, and really it developed among the faithful, the term or the name Low Sunday, because it is a very high ranking Sunday. It is the octave day of Easter, but it was called by the faithful Low Sunday in comparison to Easter, last Sunday, which is, of course, far greater. But this is a very important Sunday, and we have a gospel that contains several important ideas. The first one is peace, peace of heart, peace of soul. It says that our Lord appeared to his apostles in the upper room the evening of the resurrection, and he said to them, peace be to you. And then he showed them his hands and his side, 
And then he said it again, peace be to you. And this reminds us what a great blessing, peace of mind, peace of heart is. And how do we achieve that peace? We achieve it by acting according to our conscience, living a God-centered life, obedience to his commandments, to his will. That brings peace of heart. And you think about people in the world, how many people there are who are disturbed, who are not at peace. And peace of soul is something money cannot buy, but is very precious. And it's something we should appreciate, that peace of heart. Holy Mother Church uses this, these words of our Lord several times. One of them, for example, is the end of baptism. When a priest baptizes a child, or an adult for that matter, the final words of the ceremony are, go in peace and the Lord be with you. Go in peace. So, peace of heart. What a blessing God gives us. And peace of soul is a foretaste of and a promise of everlasting peace and happiness in heaven. Let us make certain that we preserve it and avoid everything that would disturb our peace of soul. And then we have the institution of the sacrament of penance. I think it's very significant that our Lord waited until the day of his resurrection to institute the sacrament of penance. Some of the sacraments, we don't know exactly when he instituted them. Of course, he instituted the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper. But we have a specific explanation of the institution of the sacrament of penance when our Lord said to the apostles, whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven, whose sins you shall retain, in other words, not forgive, they are retained. And I said that it seems to me significant that this sacrament was instituted on the day of the resurrection because the primary purpose of the sacrament of penance is to restore the life of grace to a soul who lost it through a mortal sin. Well, that is rising from the dead spiritually to a life of grace. And we must be grateful for this sacrament and make use of it because, as with every sacrament, there is what we call the sacramental grace. And the sacramental grace of that sacrament is that grace which helps you to fulfill the purpose of that sacrament. And the purpose of this sacrament is to help us live a life of grace and overcome sin, overcome temptation. So it bestows the sacramental grace to resist temptation, to overcome temptation, and that is a very important grace to have. And so let us make a good use of this wonderful sacrament, which is a sacrament of peace. Getting back to that theme, our Lord said, peace be to you. Then he instituted the sacrament of penance. And then finally, we have in today's gospel the, uh, an explanation of, or at least an emphasis on, the importance of the gift of faith. Thomas, one of the 12 apostles, did not believe his fellow apostles because he wasn't there on the evening of the resurrection, and they told him that Jesus appeared to us. And he showed us his hands and his feet and his side. And he said, well, unless I can see them and, and put my finger into the place of the nails, I won't believe. And then our Lord appeared again the following Sunday. And Thomas immediately said, my Lord and my God. That ejaculation that is indulgenced and we are encouraged to use at the elevation the most solemn part of Mass, when the priest changes the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ through the words of consecration, and we have the elevation of the host and of the chalice to make an act of adoration and say, my Lord and my God, those words of St. Thomas. But this also reminds us, again, of the importance of the gift of faith. We have all been given the gift of faith. And it is a gift from God that we should appreciate and, and treasure. But we also have to retain it. How do we make sure that we don't lose the gift of faith? By having a stronger faith, praying for an increase of faith. 
There are those three acts that Catholics are encouraged to make every day, acts of faith, hope, and charity. And then, of course, also the act of contrition, important prayers. But every time we make an act of faith, dear God, I believe in thee and all that thou hast revealed, all that thy church teaches. We make an act of faith, our faith increases. And it is something we must not take for granted. We have to nourish that gift of faith. Pray for a stronger faith because it is something we need in this time. And there is nothing more tragic than one who had the gift of faith and then lost it. And how does one lose it? And I don't believe a Catholic who had the gift of faith ever completely loses it. But it is lost through not exercising it, not using it, not practicing our faith and taking it for granted. So it is a great blessing. So these are several lessons that we learn from the gospel of this day, this, this important Sunday, the octave day of Easter, on which our Lord instituted the sacrament of penance and gives us peace of heart, that great treasure which our faith brings to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Credo in unum deum patrum omnipotentum factorum celia terre, visibilium omnium et invisibilium, et in unum dominum Jesum Christum fidium de unigenitum, et ex patrinatum anti omnia secula, deum de Deo lumide lumine, deum verum de Deo vero, genitum non factum consubstantialum patri, per cum omnia facta sunt, qui propter nos homines et propter nostram salutem descende de celis. Ad incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Maria Virgine et homo factus est. Crucifixus etiam per nobis sub Pontio Pilato, passus et sepultus est. Ad resurrexit tertia die secundum scripturas, ad ascended in celum sede de dextram patris. Ad itram venturus est cum gloria, judicati vivos ad mortuos, coius regni non erat finis. Ad in Spiritum Sanctum Dominum et vivificantem, Qui ex patre filioque procedit, qui cum patria et filio simulatorator, et cum glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et tu nam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitior unum baptisma in remissionum peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionum mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus fogiscum, et Oremus. Angelus Domini descende de cielo, et dixit mulieribus quam creditis orexit sicu dixit. Alleluia.
per omnia saecula saeculorum, Dominus Fobiscum, Sursum Corda, Gratia Sagamus Domino Deo Nostro, Vere dignum et justum est ecum et salutari te quidam Domini omni tempore, sed in hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare, cum pasca nostra memolatus est Christus, ipse enum verus est agnus qui abstolet peccatamundi, qui mortem nostra moriendo destruxet et vitam resurgendo reparavit, et idio cum angelis et archangelis cum tronis et dominationibus, cum que omni militia celestis exercitus, hymnum gloriae tue canimus, sine fine dicentes,
Domnia secula seculorum. Amen. Ordem precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati ad emus dicere. Pater noster, quia sin celis sancti vicerum nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, ad dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, ad ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum, pax domini, sit semper vobiscum. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccatum indi miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccatum indi miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccatum indi dona nobis pacem.
Pekata Vestri Omni Padam Sadeya said to Mrs. Pekata's Vestris, Perukat Hosad Bitamitan, Indulgentium Absolutionum and Permissionum Pekatonum Vestrorum, Jubar Bobis Omnipotum, Zed Misericoris Dominus. Ece Anus Dea Cicuitolet Pekatum Mundi. Domine non sum digno sat intra sub tecta man, sat tantum dicta verbo et sanabit anima mea. Domine non sum digno sat intra sub tecta man, sat tantum dicta verbo et sanabit anima mea. Domine non sum digno sat intra sub tecta man, sat tantum dicta verbo et sanabit anima mea.
mite manum tuam et cognosce loca clavorum, alleluia, et nolia si incredulus sed fidelis, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus vobiscum, Oremus, quesimus Domine Deus noster, ut sacro sancta misteria, que pro reparationis nostre munimine contulisti, et presens nobis remedium esse facias et futurum per Dominum nostrum Iesum Christum filium tum, qui te conviver et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Dominus Hobiscum, Ite Missa Est. Verdicat Vos Omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus, Dominus Vobiscum, Initium Sancte Evangelii Secundum Ioannem, in principio erat verbum et verbum erat apodem tesserat verbum, occurat in principio apodem omnia philipsum factus sent, et sine ipso factum est nihil quod factum est, in ipso vita erat et vita erat lux omnium et lux intenibus lucet, et tenebra eam non comprehendera. Uet omnum misus a Deo crinem in actuana, sic venit in testimonium, ut testimonium per abarat illumine, ut omnes credorum per illum. Non erat illa luxa de testimonium per abarat illumine, erat lux vera que illuminat omnem hominem venientum in mundum. In mundo erat in mundus peripsum factus est in mundus eam non cognovit, in propria venit et sui eam non rece perunt. Quod quod autum rece perunt eam dededes potestatum filio stae fieri, Iscri credunt in nomine eusquen in exsanguinibus nec ex voluntati carnis, nec ex voluntati vidis et ex Deo nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum est et habitabit in nobis, et vidimus coimes coim quasi in igenitia patre, non gratia et veritatis. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, our refuge and our strength. Look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee. And through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church through the same Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Renewing the consecration of our parish and families, 
to the sacred heart of Jesus. Most sweet Jesus, humbly kneeling at thy feet, we renew the consecration of our family to thy divine heart. Be thou our king forever. In thee we have full and entire confidence. May thy spirit penetrate our thoughts, our desires, our words, and our works. Bless our undertakings, share in our joys, in our trials, and in our labors. Grant us to know thee better, to love thee more, to serve thee without faltering. By the immaculate heart of Mary, Queen of Peace, set up thy kingdom in our country. Enter closely into the midst of our families and make them thine own through the solemn enthronement of thy sacred heart, so that soon one cry may resound from home to home. May the triumphant heart of Jesus be everywhere loved, blessed, and glorified forever. Honor and glory to the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary. Sacred heart of Jesus, protect our families. Prayer for vocations, O Lord Jesus Christ, who didst take to thyself a body and a soul like ours to teach us the glory of self-sacrifice and service. Mercifully deign to instill in other hearts the desire to dedicate their lives to thee. Give us priests to stand before thy altar. Sisters, to teach the young and nurse the sick, and to administer thy charity to all. Take thee in their homes and families. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. May the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. For our closing hymn this morning, we will sing number 34 the English 34a, and we will sing verses 5 through 9, which deal with the gospel of the day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. That night the apostles met in fear, and Christ did in their midst appear. And said, My peace be with you here. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord. He doubted the disciples' word. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, my side, saith he, my hands, my feet, my body, see, and doubt not, but believe in me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. truth no longer he denied. Thou art my Lord and God, he cried. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
Sende nobis Domine misericordiam tuam, Alleluia. Et salutare tuus Domine, Alleluia. Domine, exaudio rationem mea. Et amore a sante Domine Dominus vobiscum. Et musilis tuam. Oremus exaudinos, Domine, Sancti Patro, omnipotens et Deus. Et mit redinger sanctum angelum tuum de celis, qui custodiat, probiat, prodigat, visitat, atque defendat, omnes habitantes in hoc habitaculo, per Christum Dominum Nostrum. Quasi modo genitian fontes, alleluia, rationabla, sine dola laquam propiciate, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Exultate Deo, editori nostro, jubilate Deo, Jacob. Gloria patria, filio et spiritui sancto, sicurat in principio, nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum, amen. Quasi modo genitian fontes, alleluia, rationabla, sine dola laquam propiciate, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. 
Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Et in terra pax omnibus bonae voluntatis laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te. Gracias agimus tibi propter magnum gloriam tuam. Domine Deus rex celestis Deus pater omnipotens. Domine fidio unigenite Iesu Christe. Domine Deus agnus te fidius patris, qui tolus peccatum in dimis erebe nobis, qui tolus peccatum in dimis sisha per peccationum nostram. Qui sedis ad extram patris miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu in gloria Dei patris. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, oremus, presta quesimus omnipotens Deus, ut te, ut qui pascalia fester peregimus, hec te largiante mortibus et vita teneamus, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum fidium tuum, qui te conviver et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Lexio epistolae beati Ioannis apostoli. Carissimi, omne quod narum est ex Deo vincit mundum, et ec est victoria que vincit mundum, fides nostra, quis est, qui vincit mundum, nisi qui credit, quoniam Iesus est filius Dei. Hic est qui venit per aquam et sanguinem Iesus Christus, non in aqua solum, sed in aqua et sanguine, et spiritus est qui testificatur quoniam Christus est veritas, quoniam tresent qui testimonium dant in celo, pater verbum et spiritus sanctus, et i tres unum sunt, et tres sunt qui testimonium dant in terra, spiritus et aqua et sanguis, et i tres unum sunt, Si testimonium hominum acipimus, testimonium Dei maius est, 
quaniam hocas testimonium de quod maius est quaniam testificatus est de filio suo, qui credit in filium de ab et testimonium de in se. Alleluia, alleluia, and dia resurrectionis me dice dominus, praeterum vos in Galileam, alleluia. Vos dies octo Janus clausis, stated Jesus in medio discipulorum suorum, et dixit pax vobis, alleluia. Dominus Vobiscum, Sequentia Sancti Evangelis, Secundum Ioannem, In illo tempore, cum sero esse die illo una salvatorum, et fores essen clausae ubi eram discipuli congregati propter metum iureorum, Venit Jesus et stedit in medio et dixit eis pax vobis. Et cum hoc dixisset, ostendit eis manus et latus. Ga visis unt ergo, discipuli viso domino. Dixit ergo eis iterum pax vobis. Sicut misit me pater, et ego mito vos. Ecum dixis et insuflavit et dixideis, acipite spiritum sanctum, quorum remis editis peccata remitunt reis, et quorum retinu editis retemptasum. Thomas autumnus ex duodicim quidicitur didimus, non erat comeis quando venit Jesus. Dixerunt ergo e ali discipuli, vidimus, vidimus dominum. Iliatum dixideis, nisi videro en manibus eus fixorum clavorum, et mitam dicitum meam in locum clavorum, et mitam manum meam in latus eus non credam. Et post dies octo iterum erat discipuli eus intus, et Thomas cum ei. Venit Jesus Janus Clausis et stated in medio et dixi, dixi pax vobis. Deen de dicitome in perdicitum tumuc et vide manus meas, et afer manum meam et mite in latus meam, et nolias in credulus et fidelis. Respondit Thomas et dixi dei, Dominus meus et Deus meus. Dixi de Iesus, quia vidisti me toma credidisti, beati qui non viderunt et credidarum. Multa quidem et alia signa fecit Iesus in conspectu discipulorum suorum, que non sunt scripta in libro ho. Ec autum scripta sunt ut credatis quia Iesus est Christus filius Dei, Edu credentes vitam abiatis in nomine eius.
Please be seated. As I had mentioned last Sunday on Easter, there's no a bulletin for today. Last Sunday's bulletin covers a two-week period, so it has the Mass schedule for this week, and there are still some left if you did not obtain one last Sunday. The annual Blessing of Homes will begin this Saturday with those who live within several miles of the church. You'll be contacted by the secretary later in the week with the time that the priest will be at your home. The homes of those who live farther from the church will be blessed on subsequent Saturdays during the Easter season, and that schedule will be given out next Sunday. Our annual 40 Hours Adoration will take place on the weekend of April 19th through 21st. That's only two weeks away. A sign-up sheet for this purpose is available in the vestibule. Every parishioner should make at least one hour of adoration, if at all possible. Classes at Mary Immaculate Queen Parish School and St. Joseph Seminary will resume tomorrow at the normal times. There will be a school support uh, breakfast after this Mass, and we appreciate your support of our parish school. There will be a doctrine class this Thursday, April 11th, at 7 o'clock in the seminary classroom. That class will also be live streamed on the parish website. There will be a meeting for the Confraternity of Mary Immaculate Queen this Saturday after the morning Mass. Also, the latest issue of the Reign of Mary magazine is available for purchase in the vestibule. And I've also been asked to announce that there are a number of veils for loan for the women who might have come to the church and not have their veils, so there are a number of veils available in the vestibule, but some people have been taking them. So I've been asked to announce to please not take those veils that are there for loan. The epistle for Low Sunday, the first Sunday after Easter, is from the first epistle of St. John. Beloved, all that is born of God overcomes the world, And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is there that overcomes the world if not he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came in water and in blood, Jesus Christ. Not in the water only, but in the water and in the blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness that Christ is the truth. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three are one. If we receive this testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, which is greater, that he has borne witness concerning his Son. He who believes in the Son of God has the testimony of God in himself. Please stand for the Holy Gospel. Continuation of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, when it was late that same day, the first of the week, though the doors where the disciples gathered had been closed for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be to you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore rejoiced at the sight of the Lord. He therefore said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. When he had said this, he breathed upon them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them. And whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors being closed, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, Bring here thy finger, and see my hands, and bring here thy hand, and put it into my side, and be not unbelieving, but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because thou hast seen me, Thomas, thou hast believed. Blessed are they who have not seen, and yet have believed. Many other signs also Jesus worked in the sight of his disciples, 
which are not written in this book, but these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Thus far the words of today's epistle and Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Immaculate Queen, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Please be seated. My dearly beloved in Christ, today is the octave day of Easter, and therefore a very important Sunday, a high-ranking Sunday, although it has the name, the nickname, I guess you could say, of Low Sunday, And the faithful call it that in comparison to Easter Sunday, which is, of course, the most important feast of the entire year. But we must not think that it is an unimportant Sunday. No Sunday would be unimportant because of the name Low Sunday. It is also called sometimes Quasimodo Sunday from the first word of the introit, and also in Latin, Dominica and Albis de Positis, which means the Sunday on which the white garments were laid aside. Because the early Christians who were baptized at the Easter vigil would wear white garments all week long during the octave of Easter. And then finally, uh, on the Saturday, yesterday, they would have laid them aside at the end of the day, and so this would be the first Sunday in which their white garments had been laid aside. So it has a number of names, but it also has a very interesting gospel that contains a number of lessons. The first lesson we can draw from the gospel is the importance of peace of heart, peace of soul. It is interesting that when our Lord appeared to the apostles gathered together in the upper room where he had had the Last Supper with them. The first time he appeared to them, the evening of the resurrection in which they were gathered together, the first words from his mouth were, Peace be to you. And then he showed them his hands in his side and he said it again, Peace be to you. So this shows us what an important thing, peace of soul. Peace of mind, peace of heart is. And we think of people who do not have that peace. Their life is sad. Their life is miserable because their conscience bothers them. And that brings us to the solution. How do we obtain peace of heart, which is such an inestimable benefit? And that is by obedience to the laws of God, following the dictates of our conscience. That brings peace of heart. But lacking that peace, nothing else can take its place. So peace of soul is a great blessing, a great boon, and something we must treasure and preserve and foster that peace of heart. Holy Mother Church uses these words of our Lord, peace be to you, at the Mass, After the Gloria, the priest kisses the altar and turns around and says, Dominus Vobiscum, may the Lord be with you. But a bishop says, Pax Vobis, peace be with you, which is interesting. And we have in a solemn high mass that ceremony called the kiss of peace. And when a priest has a baptism, the final words after the child or adult has been baptized The priest concludes by saying, Vadi and Pacia Dominus Vobiscum, Amen. So go in peace and may the Lord be with you. So peace of heart, peace of soul, a treasure that we must seek and hold on to and again is obtained by doing the holy will of God. Another lesson we can gain from this gospel is the importance of the sacrament of penance. Certainly a tremendous gift of our Lord. And is it not significant because our Lord did nothing by chance? Everything was planned to take place as it did. 
why did he institute the sacrament of penance on the feast of the resurrection, on the day of the resurrection? He instituted the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper on Holy Thursday. Why was the sacrament of penance instituted on the day of the resurrection? Because its primary purpose is for a soul that is dead in the state of mortal sin to be raised to the life of grace, and that is a true resurrection. But it is not only intended for those who have tragically lost the life of sanctifying grace through a mortal sin. We can all make use of the sacrament of penance frequently, and we should do so, because every sacrament conveys, gives, what we call the sacramental grace for that sacrament. And the sacramental grace helps one to fulfill the purpose of that sacrament. So, for example, the sacramental grace of confirmation strengthens this Christian to become a soldier of Christ. The sacramental grace of matrimony helps the married couple to fulfill their obligations to one another and to the children if God blesses them with children, and so forth. Every sacrament has a sacramental grace. Well, the sacramental grace of penance is to help us overcome temptation, help us to conquer sin, help us to remain in the state of grace. And so it should be used often. And we should be very grateful for this wonderful sacrament. What a consolation to think that if we have fallen into sin, perhaps serious sin, that by going to confession, humbly confessing our sins and seeking God's forgiveness through the ministration of the priest, that that sin is wiped away. It is over and forgotten. And to console ourselves with the realization that the priest is strictly bound by the seal of confession and that nothing confessed there will ever be repeated. But again, it is a source of consolation and of strength. So we should not fear the sacrament of penance, but make a devout and frequent use of this wonderful sacrament that our Lord has given us. Now we also have in today's gospel the story of Thomas, one of the 11 apostles, and I say 11 because, of course, Judas Iscariot had betrayed our Lord and then tragically ended his life. And so now, when our Lord rose from the dead, there were 11 apostles. But Thomas was not there the evening of the resurrection when our Lord appeared for the first time to his apostles gathered together. And when he came back from his errands later that evening, the other apostles were telling him, we have seen the Lord. And he said, I won't believe it until or unless I can put my finger into the place of the nails and put my hand into his side. So there is stubbornness, a lack of accepting the testimony of his fellow apostles. But Thomas greatly made up for it one week later, in effect, on Low Sunday, the Sunday after the resurrection, when our Lord appeared again. And this time, all of them were there, including Thomas. And our Lord admonished him. He said, come and put your finger into the place of the nails and put your hand into my side and be not faithless, but believe. And Thomas knelt down and said those beautiful words, my Lord and my God. And those words are an indulgence ejaculation that we are encouraged to say to ourselves at the elevation in the Mass, at the consecration when the priest, after saying the words of Christ, changing the bread and wine into the body and blood of our Lord, the priest raises up the host and then raises up the chalice, and we look up as the bell rings and say to ourselves, my Lord and my God, make an act of faith in our Lord who is there now sacramentally present in the Holy Eucharist. So Thomas made up for it, but our Lord said to Thomas, he said, you believe now because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. And this brings out the importance of faith. What a gift God has given to us 
with the gift of faith. And we must treasure it. We must be grateful for the gift of faith and not take it for granted because the gift of faith could be lost. And it is lost by those who fail to live it. Although I think that the faith is never completely lost, even by lapsed Catholics who cease to practice their faith. They know deep down inside that the Catholic religion is the true religion. <clears throat> they have not entirely lost faith, but for the most part, they have neglected it. And so we must treasure this gift and live it and pray for an increase in faith because we need a strong faith, especially in this age in which we live. Now the acts of faith, hope, and charity, the church encourages us to pray every day, as well as, of course, the act of contrition. An act of faith basically is saying, dear God, I believe in you and in everything that you have revealed in your church teaches. Even though I can't understand it, I accept it, I assent. Mentally, I assent, I believe it. What a wonderful thing faith is. And remember those final words of our Lord to Thomas. Blessed are those who have not seen me and yet have believed. And that is us. Let us be grateful for the gift of faith. Let us live it. And let us pray daily for a stronger, more solid faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrum omnipotentum, Pactorum celia tere, Visibilium omnium et invisibilium, Et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum Fidium Deo in Igenitum, Et ex patronatum ante omnia secula, Deum de Deo limide lumine, Deum verum de Deo vero, Genitum non factum, consubstantial in patri, Per cum omnia facta sunt, Qui propter nos omines, et propter nostrum salutem de scende de genis, Et incarnatus est de spiritus sunt, Crucifixus etiam, pernavis supponsio pilato, passus et se fulgus est, et resurrexit tertia dia secundum scripturas, et ascended in celum sede de dextrum patris, et itrum venturus escum gloria, judicati vivos et mortuos, coius regni non eret finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivite cantem, Qui ex patre filio que procedit, qui cum patre filio simulatorator, et cum glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctam catholicam et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitior unam baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et expecta resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi.
Dominus Vobiscum, Oremus. Angelus Domini, Descende de Celo, Dixit Mulieribus, Quam Quaritis, Sorexit, Sico Dixit, Alleluia. Omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum. Et Sursum corda. Comet salutare, te quidem domine omni tempore, sed in hoc potissimum gloriosius predicare, cum pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus, 
Keep saying and better says on you qui obstulit peccata mundi, qui mortem nostra moriendo destruxi, et vitam resurgendo reparavi, et ideo cum angelis et archangelis, cum tronis et dominationibus, Cumque omni militia celestis exercitus, hymnum gloriae tu canimus, sine fine dicentes. Sanctus, 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 Dominus Deus Sabus, quem sum seria sere gloritus animic chassis.
Ia secula seculorum. Oremus precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, ademus dicere, Pater noster qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini sit semper vobiscum. Amen. 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 On you stay, which all is forgotten and day, done and in this part.
Misericordia vestri omnipotens Deus, et de mistis peccatis vestris, peducat vos et vitam eternam. Indulgentiam absolutionem et permissionem peccatorum vestrorum, turbat vobis omnipotens et misericordia zedonis. Amen. Eci agnus de eci qui tolet peccatum in Dei, Domine non sum digno sat entra sub tecta meam, sat tantum de cogar aboit sin abitur anima mea. Domine non sum digno sat entra sub tecta meam, sat tantum de cogar aboit sin abitur anima mea. Domine non sum digno sat entra sub tecta meam, sat tantum de cogar aboit sin abitur anima mea.
Mite manume amet cognosce loca clavorum alleluia, et nolia si incredulus sed fidelis alleluia, alleluia. Dominus vobiscum, et cum sedetius cum oremus, quesimus Domine Deus noster, ut sacro sancta misteria, Que pro reparationis nostri munimine contulisti, et presens nobis remedium esse facia sed futurum, per dominum nostrum Iesum Christum fidium tuum, qui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate spiritus sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum, Dominus Vobiscum, et Sancte Evangelii secundum Ioannem. In principio erat verbum et verbum erat apodem et es erat verbum. O carat in principio apodem. Omnia per ipsum factus sunt, et sin ipso factum est nihil quod factum est. In ipso vita erat et vita erat lux omnium et lux intenibus luciat et tenebra eam non comprehenderum. Vuit omo misus a Deo qui nominat Ioannes, hic venit in testimonium, testimonium par vera columnae. Ut omnes credere per illum. Non erat illa lux sede testimonium per vera tulumine. Erat lux vera quae illuminat dominem hominem veniat dominat mundum. In mundo erat in mundus per ipsum factus est in mundus am non cognovit. In propria venit et sui am non recet pedent. Quod quod autum recet pedent am day to day spodestatum filios de fieri. Iscrit credent in nomine est quod in ex sanguinibus nec ex ondati carnis. Nec ex voluntari vidi, sed ex Deo nari sunt. Et verbum caro fratum estet abitavit in nobis, et vidimus coimens coim quasi unigenitia patre, perum gratiae et viditatis. Please turn your hymn books to page two for the renewal of our consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. I'm sorry, page three. Most sweet Jesus, humbly kneeling at thy feet, we renew the consecration of our family to thy divine heart. Be thou our king forever. In thee we have full and entire confidence. May thy spirit penetrate our thoughts, our desires, our words, and our works. Bless our undertakings. Share in our joys, in our trials, and in our labors. Grant us to know thee better, to love thee more, to serve thee without fault. By the Immaculate Art. Set up thy kingdom in our country. Enter closely into the midst of our families and make them thine own through the solemn enthronement of thy sacred heart so that soon one cry may resound from home to home. May the triumphant heart of Jesus be everywhere loved, blessed, and glorified forever. Honor and glory to the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary. Sacred heart of Jesus, protect our families. Prayer for vocations, O Lord Jesus Christ, who didst take to thyself a body and a soul like ours, to teach us the glory of self-sacrifice and service. Mercifully deign to instill in other hearts the desire to dedicate their lives to thee. Give us priests to stand before thy altar and speak the words of thy gospel. Brothers, to assist the priests and to reproduce in themselves thy humility. Sisters, to teach the young and nurse the sick, and to administer thy charity to all. Lay people to imitate thee in their homes and families. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, 
All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Our closing hymn will be number 34. We will sing the English version 34A and we will sing verses 5 through 9 which correspond to the gospel of the day. Again, 34A verses 5 through 9. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. That night the apostles met in fear, and Christ did in their midst appear, and said, My peace be with you here. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. When Thomas first the tidings heard, how they had seen the risen Lord, he doubted the disciples' word, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Thomas, behold, my sight, saith he, my hands, my feet, my body see, and doubt not, but believe in me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
this time I would like to make the announcements. You're welcome to be seated if you wish. As mentioned last Sunday, the Easter Bulletin covers a two-week period, so there will not be a, there is not a new bulletin today, but at least before the second Mass, there were some left, if you didn't get a bulletin from last Sunday. The annual blessing of homes will begin this Saturday with the homes within a three-mile radius of the church. You will be contacted by the secretary later in the week for the time that the priest will be at your home. The homes of those who live farther from the church will be blessed on subsequent Saturdays during the Easter season, and that schedule will be indicated in next Sunday's bulletin. Our annual 40 hours adoration will be held on the weekend of April 19th through 21st. A sign-up sheet for this purpose is available in the vestibule. Every parishioner should make at least one hour of adoration if at all possible. Classes at Mary Immaculate Queen Parish School and St. Joseph Seminary will resume at the normal times tomorrow morning. There will be a school support breakfast. There is a school support breakfast after the nine o'clock mass this morning. There will be a doctrine class this Thursday, the 11th of April at seven o'clock in the seminary classroom. And as usual, the class will also be live streamed. The, there will be a meeting for the members of the Confraternity of Mary Immaculate Queen this Saturday after the morning mass. The latest issue of the Reign of Mary is now available in the vestibule. And I've also been asked to announce for the ladies that uh, there is a number of veils in the vestibule that are available for loan, and some have been taking them and not returning them. So if you borrow a veil, please be sure to return it in the vestibule. I will be available to finish the confessions in just a couple of minutes. Um,
Quasimodo, Geniti, Infantes, Alleluia, Rationabiles, Sine Dolo, Lac Concupiscite, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Exultate Deo ad Utori Nostro, Jubilate Deo Jacob, Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, Sicut Arat in Principio et Nunc et Semper, et in Secula Seculorum, Amen. Quasimodo, Geniti, Infantes, Alleluia, Rationabiles, Sine Dolo, Lac Concupiscite, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Et in terra pax omnibus bonae voluntatis. Laudamus te benedicimus te. Adoramus te glorificamus te. Gratia satimus tibi propter maniam gloriam tuam. Domine Deus rex celestis. Deus pater omnipotens. Domine fili unigenite Iesu Christe. Domine Deus Agnus Dei, Fibius Patris, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, qui tolis peccata mundi, suscipe de peccationem nostrum, qui sedes ad extrum patris et miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum sancto spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Non presta quesimus omnipotens Deus, ut qui pascalia festa, regimus heic te largiente moribus et vita teniamus, per dominum nostrum, Iesum Christum, filium tuum, qui te cum vivit et regnat in unitate, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Lexi ve pistole, beati Ioannis Apostoli, carissime, omne coordinatum est ex Deo, vincit mundum, et heic est victoria, que vincit mundum et vides nostra. Quis est, qui vincit mundum nisi, qui credit, quoniam Iesus est, filius Dei? Hic est, qui venit per aquam et sanguinem, Iesus Christi, Iesus Christus, non in aqua solum, sed in aqua et sanguine, et spiritus est, qui testificator quoniam Christus est veritas, quoniam tres sunt, qui testimoniam dant in celo, pater verbum et spiritus sanctus, et hi tres unum sunt, et tres sunt, qui testimoniam dant in terra, spiritus in aqua et sanguis, and he tres unum sunt, si testimonium hominum, accipimus testimonium dei maius est, quoniam hoc est testimonium dei, quod maius est, 
Testimonium Testificatus as the video suo, qui credit in filium dei, haber testimonium dei in se. Alleluia, alleluia, in die resurrectionis mea dicit Dominus precedam vos in Galileam. Alleluia, post dies octo Januis clausis stetit Jesus medio decibolorum suorum et dixit pax vobis. Alleluia. Sequenza Sancti Evangelii secundum Ioannem. Gloria a Dio. Ego tempore cum sero esset die in die illo una sabbatorum et fores es in classe, ubi erant discipuli congregati propter metum Gideonum venit Iesus, et stetit in medio et dixit eis pax vobis, et cum hoc dixit sed ostendit eis manus et latus, gavisi sunt ego discipuli his sodomino, Dixit ergo eis iterum pax vobis, sicut visit me pater et ego nito vos, et cum dixit sed in su flavi. Et dixit eis, accipite spiritum sanctum, quorum remiseritis peccata remituntur eis, et quorum retinueritis retinatusum, tolens autum unus ex duoricem, qui dicitur divimus non erat cum eis, quando venit Iesus, Dixerum ergo ei ali discipuli, vidimus Domini. Ele autum dixit eis, nisi vero en manibus eius fixurum, fixuram clavorum et mitam et digitum meum, in locum clavorum et mitam manum mea, in latus eius non credam. Et posties octo iterum erant discipuli eius intus. Et Thomas cum eis venit Iesus, Ianuis Clausis, et stedit in medio et dixit pax vobis, de inde dicitam Thomae, Infer digitum tuum huc, et vive manus meas, et alter manum tuam, et mite in latus meum. Et non li esse incredus, sed fideus. Respondit Thomas, et dixit ei, Dominus meus, et Deus meus. Dixit ei, Iesus, quia vidisti me, Thoma, credidisti, beanti qui non fidelum, et credidelum. Volta quidem in alia signa fecit Iesus in conspectu discipulorum suorum, quae non subscriptura in libro hoc. Eic autem scripta sunt, et credatis, quia Iesus as Christus Iudus Dei. Ud erut credentes vitam habeatis, in nomine eius. Majesty, please stand. Please be seated. The epistle for the first Sunday after Easter, Low Sunday, is taken from the first book of John, chapter five, verses four to 10. Beloved, all that is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Who is there that overcomes the world if not he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is he who came into water, in water and in blood, Jesus Christ, not in the water only, but in the water and in the blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness that Christ is the truth. For there are three that bear witness, in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness on earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood, and these three are one. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God, which is greater that he has borne witness concerning his Son. He who believes in the Son of God has the testimony of God in himself. Please stand for the words of the Gospel. The Gospel is taken from the book of John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. At that time, when it was late that same day, the first of the week, though the doors where the disciples gathered had been closed for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be to you. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples therefore rejoiced at the sight of the Lord. He therefore said to them again, Peace be to you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. 
When he had said this, he breathed upon them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you shall forgive, they are forgiven them, and whose sins you shall retain, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my fingers into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas with them. Jesus came to the doors being closed, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be to you. Then he said to Thomas, to Thomas, bring here thy finger and see my hands, and bring here thy hand and put it into my side, and be not unbelieving but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because thou hast seen me, Thomas, thou hast believed. Blessed are they who have not seen and yet have believed. Many other signs also Jesus worked in the sight of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ and Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Dearly beloved in Christ, there are a few names for this Sunday. Some of them include Whit Sunday, Low Sunday, and the liturgical year of by Abbot Geringer gives it the name of Quasimodo Sunday, as Quasi and Modo are the first two words contained in the introit of the Mass. In any case, the fact that our Lord chose this day again to appear to all his disciples on Sunday gives us more proof that Jesus wished to put special emphasis on Sunday. Sunday was to be the Lord's Day in the New Testament. But today we come to the story of the apparition of our Lord to St. Thomas the Apostle. Doubting Thomas, as he is called, although, of course, he amended his fault with a firm act of faith, and no doubt he repented of his initial disbelief with acts of contrition from that day forward. But Jesus, as we know, would frequently appear to those who knew him. He appeared to the holy women, to St. Mary Magdalene. The other two women who were with Mary Magdalene ran back to tell the disciples of our Lord's resurrection and on the way, they were greeted by Jesus. Saints Peter and John rushed to the sepulcher to find it empty, and Jesus appeared to Saint Peter, as we are told in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 15, verses five, by Saint Paul. And of course, after that, there were many other times that Jesus appeared to his disciples. The first time our Lord appeared to the apostles, Thomas was not there. He reserved, he reserved, says the liturgical year, the octave day of his resurrection for his second appearance. During the previous days, he left Thomas in doubt, but today he shows himself to this apostle as well as to the others and obliges him by undeniable evidence to lay aside his incredulity. The Holy Ghost will come down from heaven upon this same day of the week, making it the commencement of the Christian church. Pentecost will complete the glory of this favored day. And the church brings to our attention today the apparitions of our Lord to the 11 apostles and the helping of St. Thomas the doubter to believe. And the liturgical year uh, says on this, By this apparition, which is the seventh since his resurrection, our Savior wins the perfect faith of his disciples. It is impossible not to recognize God in the patience, the majesty, and the charity of him who shows himself to them. Here again, our human thoughts are disconcerted. We should have thought that this delay would be excessive. It would have seemed to us that our Lord ought to have at once either removed the sinful doubt from Thomas's mind or punished him for his disbelief. But no, Jesus is infinite wisdom and infinite goodness. In his wisdom, he makes this tardy acknowledgement of Thomas become a new argument of the faith of the resurrection. In his goodness, he brings the heart of the incredulous disciple to repentance, humility, and love, yea, to a fervent and solemn retraction of all his disbelief. He will not here attempt to describe this admirable we will not here attempt to describe this admirable scene 
which Holy Church is about to bring before us in the Mass, we will select for our today's instruction the important lesson given by Jesus to his disciple and through him to us all. It is the leading instruction of the Sunday, the octave of the Pasch, and it behooves us not to pass it by, for more than any other, it tells us the leading characteristic of a Christian and shows us the cause of our being so listless in God's service, and it points out to us the remedy for our spiritual ailments. Jesus says to Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, Blessed are they that have not seen and have believed. Such is the great truth spoken by the lips of the God-man. It is a most important counsel given not only to Thomas, but to all who would serve God and secure their salvation. What is it that Jesus asks of his disciple? Has he not heard him make profession that now at last he firmly believes? After all, was there any great fault in Thomas's insisting on having experimental evidence before believing in so extraordinary a miracle as the resurrection? Was he obliged to trust to the testimony of Peter and the others under penalty of offending his divine master? Did he not evince his prudence by withholding his assent until he had additional proofs of the truth of what his brethren told him? Yes, Thomas was a circumspect and a prudent man, and one that was slow to believe what he had heard. He was worthy to be taken as a model by those Christians who reason and sit in judgment upon matters of faith, and yet listen to the reproach made him by Jesus. It is merciful, and withal so severe. Jesus has so far condescended to the weakness of his disciple as to accept the condition on which alone he declares he will believe. Now that the disciple stands trembling before his risen Lord and exclaims in the earnestness of faith, my Lord and my God, see how Jesus chides him. This stubbornness, this incredulity, deserves a punishment. The punishment is to have these words said to him, Thomas, thou hast believed because thou hast seen. Then was Thomas obliged to believe before having seen? Yes, undoubtedly. Not only Thomas, but all the apostles were in duty bound to believe the resurrection of Jesus even before he showed himself to them. Had they not lived three years with him? Had they not seen him prove himself to be the Messiah and the Son of God by the most undeniable miracles? Had he not foretold them that he would rise again on the third day? As the humiliations and cruelties of his passion, had he not told them a short time previous to it that he was to be seized by the Jews in Jerusalem and to be delivered to the Gentiles, that he was to be scourged, spit upon, and put to death? After all this, they, they ought to have believed in his triumphant resurrection, the very first moment they heard of his body having disappeared. As soon as John had entered the sepulcher and seen the winding sheet, he at once ceased to doubt. He believed. But it is seldom that man is so honest as this. He hesitates, and God must make still further advances if he would have us give our faith. Jesus condescended even to this. He made further advances. He showed himself to Magdalene and to her companions, who were not incredulous but only carried away by natural feeling, though the feeling was one of love for their master. When the apostles heard their account of what had happened, they treated them as women whose imagination had got the better of their judgment. Jesus had had to come in person. He showed himself to these obstinate men whose pride made them forget all that he had said and done, sufficient indeed to make them believe in his resurrection. Yes, it was pride, for faith has no other obstacle than this. If man were humble, he would have faith enough to move mountains. And very appropriately, we find that the epistle for today is on faith. The epistle of St. John tells us the merit of faith. 
Faith, he says, is a victory which conquers the world, both the world outside us and the world within us. He assures us that they who believe in Christ will overcome the world. Therefore, those who allow themselves to be enticed away from their morals or who are intimidated by the world into doing whatever the world demands do not have real faith. Abbot Geringer writes, let us be proud of our faith. Let us rejoice that we are but little children when there is a question about receiving a divine truth. Let us not be ashamed of our eager readiness to admit the testimony of God. This testimony will make itself heard in our hearts in proportion to our willingness to hear it. The moment John saw the winding bands which had shrouded the body of his master, he made an act of faith. St. Thomas, who had stronger testimony than John, for he had the word of the apostles, assuring him that they had seen their risen Lord, refused to believe. He had not overcome the world and its reasoning because he had not faith. But of course, later on, we see the light of faith spring up in his cold heart. Now that he has seen Jesus in person, he exclaims, my Lord and my God. Now he is full of faith. He made up for his former lack of faith by a generous act of faith. His fault has taught us to examine and condemn our own lack of faith. Let us learn from his repentance, says Abbot Geringer, to become true believers, to have a strong and unshakable faith by the grace of God. And let us take courage at the words of Jesus to St. Thomas after his act of faith. Because thou hast seen, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and have believed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Credo in unum Deum, Patrum Omnipotentum, Factorum Ceviatere, Visibilium Omnium, et Invisibilium, Et in unum Dominum Iesum Christum, Filium Dei Unigenitum, et ex Patrinatum Anti Omnia Secula, Deum Dei Deo Lumen Dei Lumine, Deum Verum Dei Deo Vero, Genitum Non Factum Consubstantialem Patri, Perquem Omnia Facta Sunt, Qui Propter Nos Homines, et Propter Nostram Salutem Descendite Celis, et Incarnatus Est, Dei Spiritus Sancto, Ex Maria Virgine, Et Homo Factus Est, Crucifixus et Siam Pro Nobis Supantio Pilato, Passus et sepultus est, et resurrexi tertia die secundum scripturas, et ascendit in celum sededad extrum patris, et etrum venturus est cum gloria, judicari vivos et mortuos, cuius reini non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et vivificantum. Qui ex patre filioque procedit, qui cum patre filio simulatorator et cum glorificator, qui locutus est per profetas, et unam sanctum catholicam, et apostolicam ecclesiam, confitior unum baptisma in remissionem peccatorum, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Oremus. Angelus Domini, descendite celo, et dixit mulieribus quem queritis, sorexit sicut dixit. Alleluia.
Dominus will be. Per omnia saecula saeculorum. Amen. Dominus will be scum. Ecum spiri his will. Sorsum corda. Amen. Gratia segamus domino deo nostri. Dignum et justum est. Veri dignum et justum est. Equum et salutari. Te quidem domine omnitempore. Sed in hoc fortissimum gloriosus predicare. Con pasca nostrum immolatus est Christus. Ipse in averus est anis. Qui absolubit peccata mundi. Qui mortum nostra moriendo destruxi. Et vitam resurgendo reparavit et ideo cum angelis et archangelis, cum tronis et dominationibus, cumque omni malitia celestis exercitus, imnum gloriae tuae canimus, sine fine dicentos, sanctus, 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 dominus tuae salvo, plenius in celio tuae gloriae tuae, potamum in celsus, benedictus pidem, amen, 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 amen,
omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Oremus, precepti salutari bus momenti, et divina institutione formati, auremus dicere, Pater noster, quies in celis, sanctvice dun omen tuum, adveniat renum tuum fiat voluntas tua, sicut in celo et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem. Terri paramus, Omnia secula seculorum. Amen. Pax Domini, si semper vocistum. Ecum Spiritus. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccatum in Dei, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccatum in Dei, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, quitolis peccatum in Dei, dona nobis pacem. Zoom in. Thank you. 
Ite Manu Tuam et Cunyoshe, Loka, Baborum Alleluia, et Noli Esse Incredulus, Sed Fidelis. Alleluia, Alleluia. Quesimus Domine Deus Noster, ut sacro sancta misteria, que pro reparationis nostre monimine, contubiste, et presens nobis remedium esse facias, et futurum, per Domino Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum, qui te convivit et reniat in unitate, Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula secula. Amen. Benedicat vos, omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. Dominus Hobbes, Amen. Et in Spiritu Deo. Inicium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Ioannum. Gloria et Filii Domine. In principio erat verbum, et verbum erat apodium, et reos erat verbum, hoc erat in principio apodium. Omnia fricsum pacta sunt, et sine ipso pactum est nihil cor pactum est. In ipso vita erat, et vita erat lux omnium, et lux in tenebris lucet et tenebre eo non comprehenderon, fuit el nomisus a Deo cui non venera Giovannes, si credenit in testimonium et testimonium per videret e lumine, et omnes credurin per illum. Non erat ille lux et testimonium per videret e lumine, erat lux vera quae illuminat omnem hominem venientem in hunc mundum. In munda erat et mundus perips in factus est, et mundus eum non veniobi. In propria venit et sui eum non reciperant, quod quodatum reciperant eum, Deli Deis potestatum filius de inferiori, his qui credunt in nomine eus, qui non et ex sanguinibus neque ex voluntate cornis, neque ex voluntate viris et ex veo natus sunt. Et verbo, caro factum est, et habitavit in nobis, et vidimus gloria meus gloriam quasi in genitia patre, venum gratiae et veritatis. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. O God, our refuge and our strength, look down with favor upon thy people who cry to thee. And through the intercession of the glorious and immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of blessed Joseph, her spouse, of thy blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, and of all the saints, do thou mercifully and graciously hear the prayers which we pour forth for the conversion of sinners and for the freedom and exaltation of Holy Mother Church. Through the same Christ our Lord, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Most sacred heart of Jesus. Our Sunday prayer of consecration of families to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. 
Most sweet Jesus, humbly kneeling at thy feet, we renew the consecration of our family to thy divine heart. Be thou our king forever. In thee we have full and entire confidence. May thy spirit penetrate our thoughts, our desires, our words, and our works. Bless our undertakings, share in our joys, in our trials, and in our labors. Grant us to know thee better, to love thee more, to serve thee without faltering. By the Immaculate Heart of Mary, Queen of Peace, set up thy kingdom in our country, enter closely into the midst of our families, and make them thine own through the solemn enthronement of thy sacred heart, so that soon one cry may resound from home to home. May the triumphant heart of Jesus be everywhere loved, blessed, and glorified forever. Honor and glory to the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary. Sacred heart of Jesus, protect our families. O Lord Jesus Christ, who didst take to thyself a body and a soul like ours to teach us the glory of self-sacrifice and service, mercifully deign to instill in other hearts the desire to dedicate their lives to thee. Give us, priests, to stand before thy altar and speak the words of thy gospel, brothers to assist the priests and to reproduce in themselves thy humility, sisters to teach the young and nurse the sick and to administer thy charity to all lay people to imitate thee in their homes and families. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Mary, Immaculate Queen, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.